Brent. Well, here we are, sunny Bournemouth. You guys have been here since Tuesday. How's it all gone so far? It's gone very well, Matt, so far. Uh, the players have worked extremely hard. You know, their work ethic's been great. Um, training's been good. We've had a fantastic little club, Christchurch FC, to train at. We've made us really welcome. All the facilities we need, so it's all been very positive. Of course, we we're right on the eve of a World Cup qualifying campaign, so a lot of excitement and nerves, I'd imagine. Well, hopefully not too many nerves, you know, and expectancy, yes, but not too many nerves because we want to give of our best and show our best. Um, but it's an exciting time, you know, those people that have been to World Cups before know what a wonderful experience it is and we want to make sure we get to the next one. And do you think it's something that the girls want to prove after the Euros? We all know how disappointing that was, but sort of a clean slate and a new tournament ahead of us. Well, I think any time you have disappointments, whether it be players or staff, the first thing you do is you look to yourself. What could you have done better? And that applies to all of us. Um, once you've worked that out, then you come back, I think, with renewed vigour. And, you, and you're right, you want to prove a point um, and you want to show that perhaps the performances in the Euros in the summer were not a good testimony to what the girls can really do. And of course, you've got plenty of experience as a head coach yourself, having worked with the under-23s. Yeah, and a, and a lot of the players um, have come through the under-23s. You know, I, th I think of the Euro-long squad of 35, I think I'm right in saying 29 have played for the under-21s or under-23s as it is now. So I'm pretty familiar with most of the players and, and they've had a, a long-term stable education, if you like. Yeah. Of course, that's a benefit for them, isn't it, and yourself, that you all kind of know each other already? Well, that can sometimes be a benefit and sometimes be purgatory. Um, but yes, they, they sort of know my standards and, and what I expect and, uh, and I know what they can do and I've just got to help them bring that out. So of course, it's um, the Belarus game at Bournemouth. Um, what can we expect from them and how you've gone about planning to, to nullify their offence? Well, we've got limited footage, I have to say, of Belarus, but we have got some footage from the last Euro campaign when they drew with Finland to all. Now, Finland are a decent side, so any complacency that may have been around has got to be dispelled, and I think it has been in the way we've prepared you know that that is the only danger for us that we're complacent and I and the staff and, and all the players are working towards making sure that doesn't happen so we're going to play what we think is our normal game um, and hopefully that will be enough to win the game but it's really down to our performances I think these two games we've got to concentrate on our performances and doing everything that we know to be right and if we do I'm sure we'll be successful